And welcome back to the channel, Survivors. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the brand new upcoming survival game, Enshrouded. I'm sure you guys have heard all of the buzz surrounding the game, as it is still technically in the top 10 most wanted wishlisted items on Steam. The game is set to shake up the survival genre as we know it. It is bringing a beautiful voxel building design, along with some awesome storyline content that you guys can follow along with and discover. And unfortunately, it's cool as all of that stuff sounds and as exciting that I am and a lot of people are in the community, there's actually some major concerns that a lot of players are actually talking about and there's a lot of buzz surrounding what exactly their game plan is. You see, Entrouded is actually supposed to launch on January 24th, 2024, so approximately six days at the time of recording this video. Now, what's very interesting is that they are very active across all of their social media platforms. The big ones that I would like to mention are their Twitter account where they're pretty active there their TikTok account, which I believe they are the most active on, and then also their YouTube channel. Not only that, they do have an official Steam page, like I mentioned before, that you guys can wishlist the game if you haven't done so already to improve its ranking, but also here they've got tons of information detailing stuff about the game, along with in the past, they have even held beta tests that players can jump in and play a total of eight hours. Again, all of this stuff sounds really, really good, and the major concerns players are having directly relates to the price of Enshrouded on the Steam platform. We simply, at, up until this point, have had and heard nothing about the final price the game will be. I think a lot of players are hoping to find out the price ahead of time. One, obviously for budgeting reasons, a lot of players, you know, play a lot of different games and they spend a lot of money on games. And because it is directly right after the holiday season, a lot of players are uh, after the holiday season and technically before tax time, I think a lot of players are actually, you know, hoping that they have enough money to not not only buy what other other games are looking at, but to have enough here to buy Enshrouded. Secondly here, because players know that Enshrouded is launching into early access, I think a lot of people are speculating that it should be cheaper than a full price $60 game. And so because of that, you know, I think a lot of players are just curious on what's going to happen. And then the third and final reason, obviously we've got, and that's just the drama, the community and the hype all around the game, right? I mean, players in general love to talk and speculate about certain things and pricing is just one of them. Well, here in Shrouded, we actually finally got an answer from the developers inside of their Discord. So in the game's official Discord, Toast, a staff member here, dropped a post regarding their pricing. It says, Hello, I created this channel and discussion thread because the topic of price has become very prevalent as we get closer to its release, and it has begun to dominate the other channels. This should give people a place to discuss their price theories without disrupting the conversation elsewhere. It says, currently, Keen Games, which is the developer behind Enshrouded, is planning to announce the price of Enshrouded right after the launch of the game itself, and we don't have any plans on announcing it sooner than that. No matter how many times you ask, not because we are trying to hide anything from you or because our pricing model will be anything strange, it's actually pretty standard, but simply because this is a marketing strategy our team decided would work best for an early release launch of our size. Okay, very interesting here. Like, there's a couple of things to point out. One, I find it very strange that the last line they use is a early access launch of their size. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're referring to. Maybe they're just putting themselves in like a smaller category because it's a smaller game versus like a triple a game i'm not exactly sure um in my personal opinion if they're on the top 10 most wish listed games on steam i feel like that's a lot of hype behind the game and they have a lot of support so i'm not exactly sure why they feel they need a additional marketing strategy when it comes to releasing the price last minute or at the time of launch i mean unless if they're referring something directly to some competitive pricing and they want to make sure that you know they're not directly putting that information out there for other similar games launch around that same time I'm not exactly sure so either way here that's pretty much what we know when it comes to the reasoning behind we haven't had any pricing and we're only six days away from the game's official launch and now additionally in this post toast the staff member goes on to giving us extra hints about the pricing and what we could potentially expect they say here's what I could tell you about the price one the game will be a single box price fee 
Additionally, it says it will be competitively priced with other similar games and studios in this genre. It will not be priced like a AAA title, and the game will not have any day one DLC or microtransactions. The early access will be cheaper than the eventful full 1.0 release price. And that, my friends, should officially ease a lot of these players' concerns. They have directly stated down here, in my opinion, what we could expect to see for the price of Enshrouded. If I am taking a bet through all of the early access titles that I have purchased and played on the Steam platform, my guess is going to be $35. The reason why I'm landing on $35 is simply due to all of the hints they've mentioned. One, they're not going to charge a full price of a AAA game, which would be roughly that $60 range. Secondly, here, they state that the price that they're charging for early access is going to be cheaper than their official launch at, you know, when they do actually launch the game into 1.0 version. And so because of that, it's going to be a little bit cheaper than that price. So in my mind, that kind of brings it down from like a $40 game to like maybe a $35 game. And then last but not least, obviously, they're not promising any day one DLCs so we don't have to have any upcharge for those that additional content at least not right now so it definitely looks like the game's potentially shape, shaping up to be $35 I don't know that's just my personal opinion here I would be really curious to know what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comment section let me know in the comments what do you guys think do you think I've hit that mark at $35 that we could expect to see in shrouded launching as or do you think it's gonna be higher or lower either way guys that's gonna be pretty much wrapping up the video here here. I'm very excited to dive into Enshrouded on the 24th of January. I have tons and tons and tons of content ideas that I'll be recording and putting out for you guys there to just follow along with my journey in Enshrouded or just to make sure you guys know everything and how to do everything inside of the game. With that being said, as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Enshrouded related. And with that being said, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.